here's what it comes down to. This broadcast was about single mother versus baby mom. If you want to deal with a man who has his things, on, has his life on the ball, if you think these questions I asked were tough, uh, you, when a man has real money on the line, real stuff on the line, a lot of stuff, you never even hear these questions. High value men aren't just going to throw it all to the air just for a piece of tail. And far too many women think they're cute and they'll just say, okay, I'll just have a man come in and take care of me. I mean, it's troubling to hear women say that they left their man to go be on welfare or he wouldn't work but he's here all the time just i said it before and i'll say it again black community if you can't have black couples you can't have black nothing and we got to get this thing straightened out between the people from 36 to 60 years old those are the people that's the group of people that need to get their shit together we need to get our shit together in this group the younger folks they're getting better information than any of us have but that's where the real obstinate group of people are the hard feelings the crazy ass belief and again you're talking about a group of people who the dollar doesn't circulate but six hours in our community the woman that i hung up on she can't tell me that she has property money anything else you are better living with a man than without him let's talk about it let's just say the dude he wouldn't keep a job and we risk foreclosure so you have no forgiveness in your heart the man can't make any mistakes can't make any failures see she didn't say he wasn't there and he has to be somewhat stable if he's coming by every two or three days. You notice when I even said, well, the, the, the defining question I need you ladies to evaluate, were your daughters happier with their daddy in the house or out? And she would not give it to him. They're always happy. Really? That's a, dis uh, wow. Look at how we look at each other. So you're talking about black women aren't protected and this and that well when you have disdain and low level contempt for your black male counterpart when they gotta be perfect and even that ain't good enough Will Smith got cheated on the guy who didn't work got you know got kicked out of the house the I, I had a bipolar woman who's a fucking grocery clerk talking about leaving her I mean like uh, sisters are y'all hearing this when are y'all gonna start talking to each other and start saying, you know what? Maybe we need another side of the story. Maybe, maybe there's something to this, you know, stuff that these guys are talking about. Maybe they all ain't hurt. Who hurt you or this or that? I mean, everybody can't be crazy, right? All right. So that's where we're at. Throwing people away. I hope you're good with throwing people away. The Bible, the old adage in the Bible, judge not lest ye be judged. No, what it really meant, careful how you judge for you will be judged the same way. That means if you're judging harshly, you'll be judged harsh. I hope nothing, it is easy to make harsh decisions with people when you have your health. But think about it, we're in a pandemic right now. Imagine if that woman who put her, who divorced her husband cause he wouldn't keep no job, fell ill. Do you think her ex-husband would be there to take care of her? In the chat room, I wanna hear how many people feel like her ex-husband would be there to take care of her if she fell ill. Sound like you got a good dude. And see, sadly, we've got so many black women who just cannot, the ego just won't allow, I just can't have a man who won't work. And there are women that be like, yeah, I, I understand, sis, I understand. Okay, good. But you got no man in the house. Well, he ain't no man, no way. He ain't making no money. That's how you want to judge. You'll be judged the same way. That's some foul stuff, in my opinion. But we get, everybody get to make their choices. Um, I will say this, though, that getting out here dating, guys are going to be like, oh, no, no, no. They're going to they gonna run your, your Carfax. They're going to see why you did what you did and who you did it with. And they are going to act accordingly. But anyway, until the next time, peace. We are gone.